Hey, if you're not a runner, you may care absolutely nothing about this video. If you don't care anything about Curry sneakers, you may not care about this video either, which in this case, I can save you some time and you can click off. But if you want to stay, yeah, let's go over the brand new Curry Flow Go because I finally picked up another Curry sneaker and it will get more use than most of the shoes I bought in 2021. Today, let's unbox the brand new, very lightweight, like I'm not joking, it is really lightweight, <laughs> Curry sneaker, that's right, the Curry Flow Go in the black and gray colorway. As you can see, I went true to size, which is a women's seven and a half or a men's six. You have a low key white and black box with three imprinted paper and then a very sleek Curry Flow Go straight out of the box. Whenever I can, I like to pay respects to the designer of sneakers. So let's go ahead and give Ed Wallace his flowers for designing the brand new Curry Flow Go. Now, this was made specifically for Curry to train in. When he's not on the court, he actually likes to train in running shoes. And so that's why it uses the exact same flow technology that you'll find in his Curry 9. You have a one piece knit upper for the sneaker itself that is very lightweight and breathable. As you move around to the back of the sneaker, you will see suede detailing on the pull tab that also has curry stamped within it. And then on the eye stays, you will also have suede to elevate the shoe. A lot of unsuspecting colors still in this black and gray sneaker. As you can see, the insole is lavender and green. If you feel along the inner liner of the shoe on the heel, you have a lot of cushion, which makes for a very comfortable fit. So much to the point I didn't have to tie my laces when I went on a run. For Steph Curry, one of the most important aspects of a sneaker, traction. Due to the high volume of lateral movements, cutting and sprinting side to side, it's important that Curry has a lot of traction on the court and he actually wanted the same for his training shoe. So that's why you have the flow technology that is moderated better for him to run in day to day, but the flow technology is alive and well and absolutely his favorite. Lightweight is an understatement for the Curry Flow Go. With that being said, let's take this for a run. Well, before we run, let's talk about sizing. Now, again, I went true to size, which is a men's six because I'm a true women's seven and a half. And yes, it provides a great fit. Now, if you're someone that doesn't like your sneakers to fit a little on the tighter side and really grip your foot, I would go up a half size, but the six fit me perfectly. Like I said before, so much to the point, I did not tie the laces any more than what you see here straight out of the box. You definitely feel a rock in your step when inside the sneaker itself. You can move back and forth very light on your feet. You have the right amount of cushion, but you also have structure in the shoe itself. And that's important for me. Again, I have flatter feet and fallen arches. So ensuring I have enough structure to accompany the cushion is very important. Now, a fun little fact about this sneaker. If you look on the lateral side there, those four dots are actually meant to represent his family, Aisha, Riley, Ryan, and Cannon. Clearly, if a shoe is fit to train in for the NBA three-point leader, I'd say it's pretty good for myself as well. What's going on everybody? It's your girl TJ back. Another video talks with TJ, aka TJ2 Swoosh T Yeezy MA2 TJ T Essentials. And it's time to hit the ground running. That's right with a brand new running sneaker for 
all of those actual runs because yeah cardio is important okay health is wealth we already covered that in uh the other top 10 things that are just as important as your top 10 sneaker list of 2021 okay just let's get the bare minimum out of the way as an adult that was all i was kind of conveying in that video but i'm really excited for the curry flow go now this is his brand new runner that came out and we'd seen it teased time and time again tunnel walks curry's walking up in his own sneaker but i'm like are you gonna release this to the masses wardell like what's happening here but we finally have it and it is in more of this black it's like a black knit <laughs> material on the upper and colorway but because of the fibers woven into it yes it does have that appeal to have like a little bit of gray mixed in I like the way they played with color on the sneaker as I detailed in the unboxing itself. Now, why this shoe? For one, I was already in the market for a new running shoe. I had really beaten down the Pegasus 35s I had. I switched to the Zoomfly SP, which not bad, but funny enough, I intended just to have that shoe as a lifestyle shoe because I got it for a bargain, not because I thought I was going to run in the shoe, but I didn't actually want to just drop the money on a running shoe at first and don't ask why that doesn't make sense to me i'll admit when i'm just illogical i'll buy lifestyle shoes all day and they don't get a whole lot of wear well just in relation to how many i have right it's hard to wear all of them especially when you work from home so uh yeah i i had i continued to put off buying a running shoe and i'm like why you run at least three to four days a week mostly just three i love hopping on the peloton that that's my go-to run now i do the peloton runs i'll also do some nike training club runs too um i prefer the treadmill one is a woman it's just safer to run indoors okay i don't have time for the weirdos of the world who just think my safety is of no concern uh two i can run at any and all hours of the day which is really nice again when you work from home three on the treadmill i can pick the pace and how difficult i want my workout to be easily it doesn't matter about the terrain if i want to do hills i can do hills if i want to do speed work and i want it to only be for 400 meters i can make that happen over and over and over again or if i just want a coach to dictate how i'm running i can do that with peloton and nike and so those are the workouts i do for cardio if anyone is curious and this flogo was truly in my size there were two sizes left on the under armor website so i forgot why i even went to the website i think there was a pop-up from espn about curry that just kind of took me to the under armor website and that shoe popped up oh curry's available two sizes left one was a men's six and i think one was like a men's 11 so clearly the 11 was not meant for me the six made it feel like tj here's your chance here is your chance to enjoy this sneaker and that's exactly what i did i capitalized i purchased the sneaker so uh 150 150 dollars is the price tag on the brand new curry flow go and as a first ride very very comfortable as a first ride now i have fallen arches so i have to be careful of how much cushion is there but more so the support like is it a stable enough ride or does it bottom out too fast that's the reason why like i would never be able to run an ultra boost without it encased in something it would bottom out way too fast for my feet and that would not be comfortable shin splints they're a real thing they hurt they happen also plantar fasciitis is something else that i don't ever want to deal with again in life so i have to be just hyper aware of the shoes i'm wearing and yes i would actually recommend people just go to a true running store they can fit your feet for uh whatever shoe you should have and sometimes it's not going to be like a nike or an adidas shoe it may actually be who knows a curry it could be brooks it could be any number of things okay new balance as well they make great running shoes so i would recommend doing that did i do that no i just decided to go with the curry shoe and great first ride very very comfortable you can feel the spring in the sneaker itself as soon as you put it on and i did hills i did some sprints did a little of everything full 20 minute run and it was very very comfortable zero complaints about the shoe i liken it to actually running at least for me it reminded me of the react like the very first epic react flying it too but it was a more stable ride and it was actually a little bit more cushioned but it wasn't so cushioned that it was uncomfortable for me so i intend to run in this uh quite a bit again it's my new running shoe i have it in my gym bag uh to take with me to the gym for workouts so please go ahead and comment down below uh if you're a runner hey what's your go-to running shoe have you ever stepped outside of the normal brand that you run in and and, and just tried that out that's this is my this is truly my first time not having an adidas or a nike running shoe 
I guess we're just we're just we're just stepping out. We're just trying new things here in 2021 uh, for the sneaker collection. So yes, it's a sneaker edit. I don't know that I consider it like a sneaker that would be here in the walk-in just because it's truly going to be kept by the door and in my gym bag for me to use for workouts. But you guys are able to see some actual footage of me running during the breakdown of this video, which hopefully helps you out. Um, I love the aesthetic of this shoe. So I would love for him, Curry, I don't know that you're listening, okay? But can we get like a really bright, like hyper crimson or hot punch like, like colorway for this? I just think it would be amazing um, can we get like some black and lime green laces? You can see I'm really going off the wall here, but I just, I think that would look awesome. So I don't know if you're listening. I might drop a line or something to you on a picture, you know, on Instagram, hit you up on Twitter just to remind you that I would love that in a curry uh, runner. So I intend to buy more. I just have to make sure that I catch them because again, all sizes were sold out outside of that one. Uh, and it was a really just a surprise pickup for myself. I didn't plan it but it worked out really well. So if you like what you see in this video, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, hit the like. Really, really appreciate you guys always tuning in. And as always, act your age, not your shoe size. Have an amazing next run if you run. Peace.